This is the Cobra Officer, the enemy of G.I. Joe. He was first introduced in 1982 in this so-called straight arm version. It was called straight arm because it had only one point of articulation here at the elbow. He could not swivel his arm. In 1983, he was reissued with swivel arm battle grip, which added this swivel at the bicep so he could hold his weapon with a two-handed grip. The straight arm version was available only in 1982. The swivel arm version was available in 1983 and 1984. The Cobra Officer was available in a lot of ways other than carded for retail. He was available with the 1982 Cobra Missile Command headquarters. He was also in a JC Penny exclusive three pack in which he came with the mortar that originally came with short fuse. In 1986 through 1987, he was available from Hasbro Direct as part of their original Adventure Team set. In 1989, he was available as an individual bagged figure. In 1984, the entire mold of the swivel arm Cobra officer was reused for the Stinger driver and came with the 1984 Stinger Jeep. In 1989, the entire mold for the swivel arm Cobra officer was reused for the Python Patrol Python Trooper. Let's take a look at the Cobra officer's accessory, and he came with only one, this AK-47 assault rifle. The AK-47 was also known as the Kalashnikov AK. The Cobra Officer's original accessory is a very dark gray. In 1984, in Battle Gear Accessory Pack Number 2, they reissued this same weapon, but in a blue color. Let's take a look at the articulation on the Cobra Officer. The 1982 version of the Cobra Officer had the typical articulation for figures of that year, uh, meaning he could turn his head from left to right, he could also lift his arm up at the shoulder about so far, and he could swivel at the shoulder all the way around. He did have that hinge at the elbow, so he could move at the elbow about 90 degrees. Uh, he was held together with a rubber O-ring that looped around the inside, so he could move at the torso a little bit. Uh, he could move his legs apart about so far. He could move his leg at the hip about 90 degrees, and he could bend at the knee about 90 degrees. The swivel arm Cobra Officer had the same articulation as the straight arm Cobra Officer, but he did have that new point of articulation at the bicep. He could now swivel his arm all the way around at the bicep. Let's take a look at the sculpt design and color of the Cobra Officer. The head features a blue non-removable helmet and a black mask that goes over his nose. On G.I. Joe team members, I prefer to have the helmets be removable, but I don't really mind the non-removable helmets on Cobra figures. The head for the Cobra Officer is almost identical to the Cobra Soldier, but as you can see, the Cobra Officer has this chevron molded onto his helmet, and the Cobra Soldier does not. The chest features that classic Cobra blue uniform, and he has has web gear, more elaborate web gear than the Cobra Soldier, and some additional paint apps. We have gray on the shoulders, and we have this gray device here on the belt. His straps carry on to the back, again, with a different profile than what you see on the Cobra Soldier. And then on his chest is this very troublesome silver Cobra sigil. This silver paint is notorious for being very easy to rub off. His arms are blue, long sleeves. He features these rings here at the cuff and black gloves. Loves. This waist piece features a black belt. It's got some pouches. Pretty plain on the back. We've got some pockets there. Uh, the trousers are the same color as the shirt. His legs are blue. His right leg is pretty plain. Nothing there. His left leg features a black dagger. And then he has some pretty plain black boots. Let's take a look at the file card. The file card has his faction as Cobra, naturally. It has a portrait of a Cobra officer. It says his specialty is Cobra officer and his code name is The Enemy. It says file name unknown. His primary military specialty is infantry, secondary military specialty is artillery and intelligence, and his birthplace is various countries. It has his grade as 04 or equivalent, and 04 is a major. This section says Cobra officers are frontline fighters who lead Cobra attack units into battle. Many are also believed to be operating as spies at defense plants, nuclear power facilities, etc. All are martial arts experts, masters of disguise, deceit, and demolitions. Qualified expert AK-47 assault rifle, PM-63 machine pistol, M-16, Ingram M-11 submachine gun. There's a quote here down at the bottom that says, Cobra officers are dedicated to destroying G.I. Joe and the American way of life. Beware, they are extremely dangerous enemies. The Cobra officer was depicted in various G.I. Joe media, but he often got folded in with the Cobra 
a soldier. I guess when you're drawing throngs of Cobra troopers, uh, there's not much point in differentiating between soldier and officer. The G.I. Joe comic book tended to focus on one particular Cobra officer called Scarface, and he was a part of a story arc in the early comic books featuring Snake Eyes, Quinn, and Dr. Venom.